Welcome to my Cisco's Scaling Network Lab Review. Here we're doing the last lab in Chapter 6, Lab 6237, Configuring Multi-OSPF Version 3. So again, I already have this in another document off my screen. So I'm going to be looking at the main objectives. Part 1, Step 1, Enable IPv6 Routing. So first thing we have to do is hop on RA get to our CLI, get to our global config mode, we need to turn on IPv6, unicast routing, that's it. That command allows us to turn on the appropriate information. So next we need to go ahead and configure OSPF on R3, so IPv6, router OSPF we're doing process ID 1 we're going to go ahead and set the router ID to 11111 and that's it for step 1 step 2 let's go ahead and configure each active IPv6 interface to be part of our different areas pay attention to the chart Make sure you know your areas. Alright, so with that said, I want interface range gig 0 slash 0 through 1. I want all of those to be part of the IPv6 OSPF 1 area 1 network because again both of these interfaces gig 0 and gig 1 are part of the OSPF 1 area I also want to do interface serial and I want that part of the IPv6 OSPF 1 area 0 network that's this guy right here. So we went ahead and we did that for RA. Now we're going to repeat the same steps on both RB and RC. What I'm going to do to make this a little bit easier for me is I'm going to bring over Notepad, enable config T, IPv6. Unicast routing, IPv6, router OSPF1, router ID, alright, two. Next, I'm going to be configuring the appropriate interfaces. So I'm doing router B. You're going to see that everything is in area 0, so in range serial zero, 0 0 through 1, comma, gig 0 slash 0, IPv6. OSPF 1 area 0 exit and that should be good for router B. Now let's see if packet tracer likes that. Turns out it did not like my interface range. So I'm going to get rid of my interface range. I will just do these separate. Sometimes it likes it, sometimes it doesn't. But you know what? That is okay. There we go. Alright, 
next we're going to be doing RC. Again, pay attention to the interfaces and the areas that they're in. So, zero, 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 0001 is an area 0. Interface rain gig 0 through 1. All of that is in area 2. Gig 0, gig 1, area 2. Let's go ahead and copy and paste that into R3. Is there anything else we need to be? Yep, nope, just that. All right. So we've done all of that. So step two is done. Step three is done. So all we have to do is let's go ahead and verify. So what it wants us to do is it wants us to ping each of these from RA. So let's go ahead and hop on RA. Ping. Paste it in there. That works. Ping. Paste it in there. That works. Ping the third one. That works. Ping the fourth one. That works. Ping the fifth one. Two zero zero one DB eight one C two. That's this guy right here, gig zero one, area two. All right, so let's double check our config. Yeah, see, we did IS. Let's go ahead and make sure that the int range actually took it. Show run. Gig 0, gig 1. Oh. See that? Even though we had an interface range, it did not take our OSPF area command. Gig zero one. All right, so that's kind of weird. I've never had equipment do that, but it is back a tracer. So let's go ahead and ping that again. First one should fill out because I'm doing it so quickly, but this one should work now because again we fixed the. area. Alright, I'm going to let it sit for a minute and then I'll try again. Alright, so it took a few seconds but it's pinging now. Alright, so that's actually the end of this lab. If you want to go through the show commands, again, get familiar with them. They're the show IPv6 protocols that really work here. Packet Tracer has some iffy things with some of the show commands, but I mean, it's not that bad. If you have any questions, again, please let me know. Thank you.